It's time for Rabbi Minkowitz's Weekly Torah Lesson, a place where life's most difficult questions are answered. Here with his spiritual perspective and insight, Rabbi Minkowitz. Welcome to this week's Torah Lesson. This week's Torah portion is Pasha's Ekev. The question of the week is, what is our best protection? So in this week's Torah portion, we learn about the special mitzvah, the mitzvah of affixing a mezuzah on our doorposts, put up in our house, our offices, anywhere we dwell, we put up the mitzvah of mezuzah. But when you find something very interesting and unique about the mitzvah of mezuzah, is that generally speaking, there's 613 commandments, 248 positive, 365 negative commandments, but generally speaking, there is no reward for the mitzvot. And as the reward is, you should do the mitzvah, because by doing a mitzvah, you're doing what God wants, and the greatest reward is the re- the doing the mitzvah itself, is having a relationship with God. And ultimately, a person shouldn't do a mitzvah for a, re- a reward. The highest level of doing a mitzvah is because God commanded you, and by doing a mitzvah, as we know, it's a mitzvah comes to word, tzavta, creates a connection, and anytime you do a mitzvah, you're connecting with God. But what's unique about several of the mitzvahs, and specifically, let's say in this case of mezuzah, the Torah tells you, guess what? There's a special reward you're going to get. And as God's giving you a motivation to do the mitzvah, and the Torah tells us, so that your days will be lengthened, you'll live a long life, your children's life will live a long life, on the, on, on the place that God gave us, the land of Israel, God will obviously give us many, many blessings because we observe the mitzvah mezuzah. Based on this, the fact that the Torah gives us these beautiful blessings, the commentaries tell us that here you see that when it comes to the mitzvah mezuzah, a person could do it for reward, and not only that, we know that the, the mitzvah is here to protect us, and if a person is doing it for the protection, that's great. As a matter of fact, based on that, there's a, there's a, a ruling that you should have a mezuzah wherever you are. It's in your car, you should have a mezuzah, you should keep one maybe in your briefcase, because a, a mezuzah is a protection. Not only that, that a mezuzah is a protection, the physical mezuzah, but we know there's a famous story with the previous Rebbe, when he was once taken into prison for spreading Judaism, and they took him in for questioning, and they asked him, do you know where you are? Now, obviously, he knew where he was, and they knew where he was. But he took the question to his advantage to bring in God's blessing, and he responded, and he said, I am in a room, I'm in a place which is exempt from having a mezuzah. Now, the question where he asked, what kind of response was that? Why is he telling non-Jews about, uh, that, he's, that he's exempt from having the mezuzah? If he should have a mezuzah, he should have put one up. And if he's exempt, so what's the point of telling them? So he knew about that. And there he brings out a fascinating idea, because we know that when you learn Torah, it's as if, um, for example, if you learn about the sacrifice, if you brought the sacrifice, so by him mentioning that it's, it's exempt from having a mezuzah, because he spoke about the mezuzah, the mezuzah was there for a protection for him. So the way he brings out, here you see the tremendous power that mezuzah has. Mezuzah has power that it's there to protect you in your homes where you keep them up. It's there to protect you in your offices. It's there to protect you in your car you take them with you. Um, it's there to protect you wherever you take a mezuzah with you. Mezuzah has tremendous power of protection. So to answer the question, what's the best protection we have? Is keeping a mezuzah where we go and making sure we have them affixed in our homes, our offices, in our cars, and wherever, whatever, any place that belongs to us, that will protect us in a big way. This week's Torah lesson is in memory of Baruch ben Ari Leib and Shlomo ben Yosef. May their souls be elevated for the Torah that we're studying in their memory. Thanks so much for joining us for our weekly Torah lesson. For more information on Chabad, please see our website.